Okay, so we're going to do a tutorial on developing the fuse and how you loft and avoid loft errors. It's very simple and you know you have to be careful with how you do this because you know I was getting a lot of lofting errors on the uh, especially on the wing tips and on the fuse front and back. The reason that was happening is because I wasn't perfectly vertical and there's a very simple step that I missed um, or, or didn't do right and that's what caused all of my headaches. So um, we are going to start off with the front view. Now I've already imported my canvas which that we can go over in another video but so what you're going to do is you're going to get this fuse because you're going to be drawing a cylinder around this fuse and we want to start that process. So how I'm going to do this, because I'm going to be using molds and 3D printed molds, so I'm just going to need a solid body here to cut the mold from the body that I create around the fuselage. So, I'm going to go into my form, which is that little purple box. We are going to create a cylinder, and it's going to be on this front plane. And what we're going to try and do is match the cylinder to the fuselage. That could be started a little lower. So we'll do that again. And we, you really want to be pretty accurate on this. Because this is how your fuse is going to This is going to make your fuse fly. Uh, a little bit higher. Just want to get this right. This is the part you got to be a little bit picky on. And that's not terrible. Okay, so now you've got your, your cylinder... And what's going to happen is if you turn it this way, it's going to want you to make some depth. So we can give it just that depth. Now we want to be on mirror symmetry and we want width symmetry. This is so that when we're drawing this and we do the wings and everything else, we can just mirror everything. Okay, so now you go to your right side, and it doesn't mean much now, but if we open up our side view, you'll see it's there. Now we need to move this. So you hit highlight everything and hit move. And then you're just going to move this to some place in here. And you're going to try and line it up as good as you can. It looks pretty good. And then we're going to come to the top to see if that makes sense also from the top. And we're going to get our top view back, and it looks a little big, actually. So, how are we going to take care of that? So, we hit OK. And there's our top view, and it looks a little wide here and a little wide here. So, what we can do is hit this, hit our Move. Oh, actually, we're going to do this, and we're going to hit Edit Form. We're going to right-click anywhere on here. And we're going to edit form. Now you're going to get your edit box. So now if we use this line right here, we can edit it in two dimensions. So we can bring it in a little bit. That actually looks pretty good. So it makes sense from the top. And it makes sense from the side. And that's kind of how we're going to do this. You're going to always look at the side first, extrude, fix, and then you go to the top. So how do you do that? You're just going to click one of these edges, double click it, you're going to see it all turns blue, you can see there, and then you're going to right click and hit edit form. Now this is where I was making my mistake. I was using this box to actually draw it out, but you can move up and down. If you use the arrow, it won't do that. It'll keep you vertical and you won't, you'll avoid all those lofting errors. So, first thing, hit alt and hold alt while you're extruding. And we're just going to bring this out till right before we see that we have a change here. And then we're going to make sure that looks good from the top. It does, and we're going to make sure it looks good from the side. Now, you're going to hit Alt, hover over the arrow, and drag it a little bit out. Now you can see here where it's, it's going off. Now this is how we're going to fix it. We're going to pull this in. But you see how it goes? See how I did that and how this whole thing... Uh, 
comes in. That's why what you want to do is you never want to make a big move like I just did. So I'll highlight my edge, edit form, and we're going to hit Alt, and we're going to drag this out to right before them. And then we'll check top, bottom, and now we'll extrude again. Sorry. And we'll extrude right before we see the change. And that makes sense from top and bottom. Move this out of the way. Hit Alt. I don't know what is going on here. This is aggravating. Okay, so we're going to hit move that out of the way. We're going to hit Alt. Now you can see you're starting to have. So we're going to, you can, but see how nice that does that? And then you could just keep doing that until it's perfect. And then you go to the top and you'll see the edges are just barely starting to creep. So you fix it and now you do it all over again. We're basically going to do this for the entire back side of this fuselage. If it's not right, you can make it a little bigger and then move it down and you can kind of see how this is working. And you're always going to extrude towards the back of the fuselage first. And then you go to the top and you do it that way because it'll all make sense when you're done here. So we keep going. And we're going to do this until we get to the back of the fuselage where we're going to make our caps. Because we're going to make a solid body out of this. We're going to make a solid body. Okay, so just keep going. You can zoom in if you want to get a better, a finer adjustment. It can't hurt and you can kind of see how this is really looking pretty good and just remember always extrude and then go to the top view you know extrude fix and go to the top view and that's how you know you're gonna finish this thing out and again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because anything you do, especially if you're using 3D printed molds, you're going to have to do some work as far as, you know, making the mold after you lay it up with fiberglass or, or carbon, you know, however that's going to look for you. You're going to have work to do to, to make it perfect. So it looks good. I think we're going to do one more extra. The other thing is do not leave too big of a space on the back or the front because that's another lofting error. If, there's, if the loft has to be too big, it will give you lofting error. So you don't want things to be too big. So this looks pretty good. Now, we're done with that, so we can hit OK. It's going to do some computing and now you look good. So now we're going to do this front piece. So same deal, double click, get your blue line, the whole thing, right click, edit form, and now we're just going to do the same thing the other way. And we're going to finish off the top of this. Uh, and we're going to go just past the windows. I'm going to go to right here because that's right where it starts changing. Still making sense from both directions. And here you go. Now we just match the fuselage as close as we can. Again, if you're using fiberglass or, you know, whatever mold you're going to use, you don't need this to be perfect. You just need it to get you in the ballpark so that when you're done with your 
your 3D prints that you have something close so that you can model it. Because there's quite a bit of work, you know, that goes into the mold prep and the sanding and even after you get everything where you like it, there's still a lot of work that you, you need to be doing to make this uh, look really good. I see this looks a little bit off, but we can build this up when we get to the, you know, the layup process. But it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's not looking uh, terrible here. I think I'm going to do one more extrude here. And now we've we've got where our nose is. It actually looks pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So when you get to this point, you're going to finish your form. I like to get rid of my drawings at this point just to look at the, uh, and let's get rid of this origin. And now you can kind of see it. it looks pretty good. But you have open ends. So how are we going to fix? You need to make this a solid body. So how do we do that? You have an open end here and an open end there. So we're going to go to the surface and there's this patch right here. All you're going to do is highlight the outside and kick OK and it puts a little cap on the end there. And then you're going to do the same thing here. Patch and then OK. So now you've got, if you go to bodies, you're going to notice you have these three surface bodies. We want to make this one body. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to come here and we're going to stitch. We're going to use this stitch. And you're going to highlight that. You're going to highlight the main body of the fuselage. And you're going to highlight the end. And then hit OK. Now you'll notice right here, one body. So now we've got a solid fuselage. But we still have to deal with the nose and the tail. And this is where those using that arrow instead of the box comes into play. So how are we going to fix this? How are we going to make this close? What we're going to do is we're going to use sketching now. So now we're going to create a sketch on, not on this plane, but on this circle. And then we need to split this in half to make it feasible for the loft. So we're going to take a line. We're going to split this ellipse in half. Okay, and we're going to use T on the keyboard to trim these edges. So now you'll see when we hit Finish Sketch, you now have two, two, um, two halves of this circle, of this ellipse. Um, so what we want to do now is create a sketch on the right plane. We want a right plane. So, and I'm just going to do the back and show this to you. So we're going to create a sketch on the right plane. And first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to project. We need to use the project tool, which is P. And we want to project this point and this point. Okay, and now we've got, so we can snap in and draw this. We also want to then hit P again and make sure you uh, select bodies. And you're going to highlight the entire fuse. Okay, so now you've got the two points here projected and the body. So what's going to happen is when you loft this, it'll loft it onto the body. So now we're just going to use, we're going to bring back our side view and this is our kind of shape. Now this doesn't have to be perfect either because again, if you go too far out here, it'll give you a lofting error. So how are we going to do this? We are going to use a spline. We're going to use a control point spline and all we're going to do is kind of try and close off the back of this fuselage like that something like that now what you can also do is take your tangent and highlight that and highlight that and if it doesn't work it's okay 
Okay, so fail to solve here. So all you have to do to resolve that, if your tangent doesn't work, is move these and edit these points. Okay. So now you have... Why am I not having... I want to create a loft. Okay, and if you get an invalid direction, that's okay. Um, you want to make sure nothing is highlighted when you create your loft, and you can go into surface and create a loft. So you want to highlight that, that, and that. And there you go. There is the end of your fuselage. So now, the other thing you could do if you want is hide the fuselage, and now you have the same problem here. Right, this is open. So we do the same thing, we patch, okay. Then we use stitch, okay. Now you'll notice you have two bodies. So that's the steps, and definitely pay attention to that, um, that arrow that I showed you on here because if you use that little box you're going to make slight variations up and down and when you go to loft it will give you all sorts of errors and you will not get something nice like this but and we could do the same thing in front if you want to we could go to the front view and if you're going to close off the nose of this airframe you would do the same thing so you would create a sketch on this line tool, you want to split it in half, trim the edges. So now you've got this, uh, you've got this, both pieces here, and it's perfect. So you finish sketch. Then you draw another sketch on the right, oop, that didn't work. We want to draw another sketch on the right plane. Now you're going to project and make sure you switch back to specified entities. And you want to, well, you could do the body there because you're going to do that anyway. And then you could hit P. And you want to go back to specified entities and do both of those. Okay. And now you do the same thing. You put a spline in, control point spline, get your side view out. And basically, you're just trying to follow. Now, I'm not doing this very accurately because I've already done this. I'm just showing you what it looks like when it's going to work right. So now you've got your three sides. Now you create your loft. And there you go. And as long as you keep this totally vertical now i would not keep this nose i don't like this nose oh i forgot to uh do the top that's why it looks like that but that's okay but the most important thing with this lesson do not use that arrow i mean do not use that box when you're extruding use the arrow it keeps it perfectly level so thanks for watching hopefully this clears up if you're getting a lot of lofting errors and uh, stay tuned. I may put up some other videos on other problems I saw or things that I had, issues I had with this. So uh, we'll see you. Stay tuned for the build of the A350 and many more videos on Fusion.